coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. Happening today, the first court status update for Shane Meehan. He's facing a federal charge in the shooting death of Detective Greg Ferency. He faces up to life in prison if convicted. His attorney's update should explain if Meehan is ready to appear in court and fully participate in future proceedings. Last week, he was charged at Terre Haute Regional Hospital. He was not fully capable to participate due to his physical discomfort and the administration of pain medication. The Terre Haute Police Department is selling bracelets and stickers with Detective Ferency's name and badge number. Proceeds will go to the Police Department's Memorial Fund. It will be used for a memorial at the new police headquarters along with next year's memorial trip to Washington, D.C. The items are $3 a piece or two for $5. You can buy both at the Police Department on Wabash Avenue. Indiana is giving everyone who files their taxes a little bit of a break. If you are filing as an individual, you'll get $170. If you file jointly, with your spouse, you'll get $340 together. This is because Indiana has a surplus of more than $1 billion in taxpayer revenue. Whenever the state has so much money, it gives money back to taxpayers in the form of a credit, which you'll get when you file your next return. Indiana State University economics professor Dr. Robert Gill says by law, the state is required to give the money back. A bill is working its way through the Indiana legislature that would help protect children from hot cars. Federal Bill 3164 is called the Hot Cars Act of 2021. It's co-sponsored by U.S. Congressman Larry Bouchon. He serves Indiana's 8th con Congressional District. Bouchon is passionate about this bill passing because a hot car death happened in his district. Now, Indiana and Illinois have their own laws regarding children left unattended in cars. State police encourage the park look lock method. Park your car and look in the back before locking it up and walking away. Illinois has become the first state to forbid investigators from deceiving minors during interrogations. A new law stops courts from being able to consider confessions made by juvenile suspects who were lied to during interrogation. Researchers say children are more easily scared and more likely than adults to make false confessions. That puts them at greater risk of being wrongfully convicted. The Terre Haute City Hall parking lot is getting a makeover. Leaders tell us all of the storm water was going directly into the sewer system and that shouldn't happen. The project will also move transformers and overhead utilities. They'll be underground when the work is done. Mayor Duke Bennett says the project will be completed by the fall. Ivy Tech's Community Cares Job Fair is coming up on Tuesday of next week. Career seekers can meet employers to learn about openings and about Ivy Tech's educational opportunities. The fair runs from 10 until 3. An RSVP is not required, but those who do will receive a free t-shirt while supplies last. You can RSVP on Ivy Tech's website, and we've also linked you to that information over on, you guessed it, WTHITV.com. We're in the lower 80s this afternoon. Heavy rain is going to be possible multiple times throughout the day, this morning, midday. So just be careful if you have to do anything outside. Be prepared to work around rain all day long. We're cooler, though. Temperatures are going to be in the lower 80s. Again, different from the lower 90s that we were in yesterday. Tonight, we're in the upper 60s. Showers, those showers at first. We're going to dry out as we move through the rest of the night very briefly, but we are going to see a return of some scattered showers tomorrow. Temperatures going to be in the mid 80s again tomorrow. It is going to continue to be cooler and partly sunny throughout the day. We can't completely get rid of clouds as we move through tomorrow afternoon. Seven day forecast shows the chance of rain diminish as the weekend goes on. We're going to be in the mid to lower 80s all throughout the end of the weekend, and then we're going to return to normal weather for this part of the year on Monday with temperatures beginning to climb into the mid 80s. We're in the upper 80s on Tuesday, mostly sunny skies. We're going to see mostly sunny conditions Wednesday and Thursday with temperatures going from the mid 80s all the way back up to the upper 80s where they typically are this part of the year. And then we're back above normal on Thursday, close to 90 degrees, temperatures around 89 degrees. So if you have to do anything outside, be prepared for some rainy conditions. We're going to see heavy rain throughout multiple parts of the day. And remember, by the end of this weekend, the chance of rain will diminish. But if you have any outdoor plans this weekend, just be prepared for the off and on shower as we move through a couple of these afternoons. Thank you, and thank you so much for joining us on this Friday. Be sure to join us for News 10 at midday, but right now, CBS This Morning starts at the top of the hour. We hope you have a wonderful Friday and a great weekend.
For the most local news, every newscast, every day, you can depend on News 10. Coverage you can count on.